island is too far away from the earthquake itself to have been caused by the ground displacement during the earthquake, the so-called co seismic displacement. Instead, it seems quite likely that what it is is, a, is a, something called a mud volcano. Mud volcanoes are uh, often caused in, in certain areas as a result of ground shaking during earthquakes, and that ground shaking uh, results in uh, the release of kind of muds and silts and clays that are pressurised um, underground, and the shaking releases those, and they kind of liquefy, and they can appear at the surface in the form of these mud volcanoes. And there are several other mud volcanoes in this particular area on the, what's called the Makran subduction zone that sits off the south coast of Pakistan. In 1945, there was a very big earthquake on the Makran subduction zone. It had a magnitude of 8.1, and it triggered a number of mud volcanoes offshore in this area. It's quite likely that given it's at sea, it could become gradually eroded. Uh, it really depends on, you know, these, these things can, can remain you know, for, for years there, but it, but it may over time gradually become eroded and, and, and disappear.